mural of Shohei Otani is now on full display just in time for tomorrow's home opener. It's on the side of that Miyako Hotel in Little Tokyo. Welcome back. Shohei Otani hasn't even played a regular season home game yet for the Dodgers, and he's already a hero. This is the mural that's bridging cultures here in L.A. and around the world. We know fans have been raving about the mural before its formal unveiling, and today they showed up in their Dodger blue to commemorate the moment. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Brian. This is my uh, 2020 Road Glide Special that Laid Laws has hooked up for me. I did the build based around, you know, the performance bagger thing is real big, and I got into it. I like riding my bike a little harder. I like it to perform for me. I wanted something comfortable that did both, performed and I could go on long road trips with. I don't really do the bar hopping thing. I mainly go on, you know, a weekend trip. It's probably the shortest thing I'll do. You know, yeah, that was my reason for building this bike. Some of the design choices were just based off of that whole performance bagger thing. I wanted to slim down the bike a little bit, trim it up. So I went with mids. I find those more comfortable than the floorboards. And I still got my crash bars up there. I could rest my feet on if I need to. I lightened up the bike with carbon fiber. I had the pipe done by HPI. That's a custom pipe. I wanted HPI because of their sound and their performance and no one was making up you know, what I wanted for the mid controls that I wanted. Specifically these mid controls from Big Bear Performance because they don't attach to the motor or transmission anywhere. Kept the paint job pretty basic. I didn't want anything over the top. My personality is pretty mellow. Nishi Honganji Buddhist Temple. Wanted to do uh, the shoot and the video here because this place is special to me. It's where I went to preschool and kindergarten. It's where um, my grandparents' are, remains are held back in the temple over there. And so you wouldn't know by looking at me, but I'm, I'm half Japanese, so I figure why not come back to where I started back at uh, Nishi. And so, uh, yeah, that's why we're here. What's up guys, Steve Garcia here from Laid Laws Harley Davidson, bringing you another special build today for a good friend of ours uh, over at Laid Laws, Brian. It's been a long time coming, but we finally finished this guy and uh, all we can say is well. Uh, full carbon on this one, Brian wanted to shave a lot of weight. Obviously it's still a touring bike, but it's, it's going to weigh some pounds, but um, nothing a little carbon fiber can help with. We didn't go too aggressive on this one. I like to say that and we go aggressive on all our builds. Big thing we did on this one, uh, full carbon, like I said, DTF performance came up uh, big on all these carbon fiber parts. We did a uh, front fairing, 
front fender, side covers, dash panel, full uh, saddlebag kit, the rear fender, and then they came out with a pretty trick license plate bracket in full carbon, along tied in the uh, custom dynamics license plate frame with the LED light strip. And then uh, the big thing is the paint job. Seth came up big, like always. Brian didn't want nothing too crazy. He's not a fan of like flashy kind of settle. Um, so we went with a smoke tint on it. We've been doing it on a lot of our builds, just darken up the carbon just so that it flows with that black. So another big thing we did on here, shout out to Lucky Strike Designs for custom uh, cutting this bagger tank. Uh, we wanted to give it that bagger league racing look. And obviously it's nice when you're ripping on a bike like this, you have that knee room. That's pretty cool. That's something I like to do in the future on one of my bikes. And then we did Honeycone in there the uh, pretty popular Harley Davidson logo on there in gold and then we did a lot of gold on the bike Big Bear Choppers all in front end in gold then we went with a Flymoto bar gold adjustable hand levers clutch and brake PSR levers and then we had them powder coated by Andrews powder coating Shout out to Andrews, they do all our powder coating. Super talented guys, love all their work. And then uh, Death Metal Racing came in clutch with the gold. And then also we did mid controls on this. Big Bear Chopper came up on these mid control kits. We wanted to give it a little Dyna, you know, style feel to this bagger. And then also we did uh, Big Bear Chopper's uh, engine guard. Brian wanted to extend his feet, you know, on those long trips. So shout out to them. He's got that twofer on there you got the low center of gravity and then you got that higher gravity threw in some s2 baja design lights on there in amber just to light up the road you always want as much light as possible on the road and on these long trips did a bst carbon fiber wheels as well pretty popular wheel that came out like i said we're trying to save as much weight as we can the stock wheels are pretty heavy so we went with the front and rear BST wheels. To accommodate the BST wheels, we went with the Galfer rotor and then inverted front end, like I said, from Big Bird Choppers, Brembo front and rear brake calipers. Uh, we did a custom dynamics turn signal in LED. And then the big one, uh, 131 kit. 131 kits are really popular nowadays. A little hard to get in California with our resources. We had a aftermarket shop out of state. Being that we're in California, we're kind of limited on what we can do. Would have been nice to do it in-house, um, but you know, California, but it came out good. We had a custom HPI pipe made for this motorcycle to accommodate the mid controls. And we put a DynoJet target tune on it to help out with altitude. We ride to Utah a lot, Zion out there, so it accommodates for the altitude. And then another big one, Track Dynamic Swing Arm, custom made for a belt drive. A lot of guys are doing chain. Chains are cool, you know, just a little messy, a lot of adjustment. We didn't want to worry about maintenance on this bike too much with that chain. And then Olin's 13 and a half in the rear with resis to accommodate Brian's weight. Brian's like me, he's a, he's a big boy. So, you know, we got to uh, make sure that the bike's tip top. Pretty cool that you can adjust it on the fly. That's really popular right now, that look. Shout out to Olin's. And then also we tied in that gold as well to the rest of the bike. Check out Olvera Street real quick. We can't ride by and not stop off at Olvera Street. The one with the two colors? Yeah, the green and, okay. green and white one right there. Oh, and for Matt? 
<laughs> and for, uh, for Mateo. <laughs> Mateo, yeah. <laughs> Mateo. Mateo. <laughs> oh, maybe I should. No, I like that green and white one though. There's a lot going yeah, on. You got dope. mean teeth, you got nice teeth. Uh, Sing for math. Some extra dinero. Hell yeah. Nacho! Nacho! <laughs> One night only. One night El Mateo. <laughs> we accept any challengers. And I'll just <laughs> now I'm ready for Alvera Street. Oh, I gotta pay still, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay for it. All right, Steve, what's next, man? Tacos, or what's going on? No, we don't got time for tacos. What's next, dude? We're on the clock, man. Come on, dude. That's a word. <laughs> a Doyer shirt? Oh, you're gonna get the pussy. Yeah, bro. A mullet? You gotta go a mullet, dude. Dude, where's the Dia de los Muertos? Oh, we passed a few little candy skulls. Do we? Yeah. A little gift shop in here. They've been here since 1930. So cool. It's my wife's birthday coming up pretty soon. You guys have any birthday cards? Yeah, no, I want, I want some uh, day of the day. I, I like it. Do you have any like uh, birthday or like for, for, for your wife type stuff? Alright, what's a good one for a, a wife, to give a wife? You know, I, I kind of like this one. Let's go with this one. Yeah, I'll get this. We're a big fan of Krause at the shop. I run it on all my bikes. Uh, we did the Raptor pull plate on it with the 12 inch pullback risers. We did a fly moto bar that we had powder coated uh, by Andrews. And then we did the gauge relocation kit by Krause. We were trying to go a different route. Brian wanted his gauges up high. He kind of wanted them visible. We were trying to do a single gauge on it. But just being with back orders and time and trying to get things made, it was just turning into a headache. So we went to the good old Krause gauge relocate and I like it. I run it on my bike. We do it a lot at the shop and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it just overall looks great. We did a carbon fiber brake line just to tie in to the carbon fiber on the bike. DTF performance fuel tank and then Arlen S gas cap. A couple things that we're waiting on that were back ordered, uh, the Trask performance intake to accommodate the 58 millimeter HPI billet aluminum throttle body. That is gold. Due to the back order issues, we had to run the Screaming Eagle 117 air cleaner. Not that it's bad, just wanted to really show the gold that's incorporated into the throttle body. So that's one of the upgrades that we're changing. We want the black hardware kit. Uh, we're still gonna switch out a couple bolts into black, get rid of that stainless look. Shout out to uh, LS Fab. We're running their bracket and two LP6. They're super bright. We run them on all our bikes. It's good to know that people are seeing you coming down the road. I don't know if they're giving me the finger or giving me the peace sign every time I pass by a car. Cool to know that I'm being seen as I'm riding. We split lanes out here a lot in California. It's kind of cool knowing that they see us coming down the road. So also shout out to Clockworks. We run their windshields on all our bikes at the shop and it just works. It just gives a nice flow to the overall uh, look of the bike. We went with the rocker sound system on it. Another upgrade that we might switch in the future going to the stage two rockford but these are these are pretty gnarly not gonna knock them they're they're pretty loud lucky dave seat brian kept going back and forth on seats we had the sdc seat with the little step up and then we had a saddleman and then he's seen this lucky dave two up tuck in a row and it worked so i like it it's a great seat it gives you a, a little better feel 
a little more of an MX style ride. Other than that, the bike speaks for itself. It, it roars, it's, it's a beast. I'm super excited how it came out. Everyone at the shop contributed to this bike build. Overall, the bike's pretty sick. Now the build's done. I can't say I'd really change too much. Uh, thinking about the, uh, put the gauge cluster up here. Other than that, it rides amazing, which is what I was going for. You know, I wanted something that had instant throttle response and rode like a dream and this thing does it. trips so i want to go back up to uh, montana that's where our last biggest road trip we took ended my buddy's blown motor so <laughs> but um yeah i'd like to go back up to montana go through there maybe cut back to oregon or who knows